Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create material date range picker in Anna Studio. So before starting the video, let's see a demo what we are going to create and then we will see how to create this. So for this, I have to open my phone screen. So I open this and this is the we are going to create. So you can see it contain a text view and a button. So if you tap on this button, select show date range picker. So you can see it is showing me the date range. So by default, I set the date range from 1 to 26 so you can set any and if you don't want to set any you can also not set any and I will tell you these properties as well in this video so let's select any date so I select 14 March to 29 March and click on ok so when you click on ok so you can see it is showing me the exact date which I selected so 14 March 2023 to 29 March 2023 so when you select date from date range picker it will give you date in milliseconds so you need to convert into a normal date format so i will also let you know how to convert this in normal date format so this video is going to be very interesting and you will going to learn lots of things in this video so don't forget the delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so for this i open my inner studio and i just click on file then new and then new project MT activity click on next and you can give any application name it is your choice so I am giving a material date range picker tutorial click on ok so it will create this empty project for us so our project is building let's wait for the gradle build so project build successful now we are ready to start writing the code so before writing the main code first of all what I want to do I want to just copying the unnecessary code which you can do according to your own design so I am just copying this whole layout so it just contain a text view and a button so if you want to show date picker date range picker wherever you want you need to use that design so that's why i am copying this so i just paste it here and you can see it is working fine so this is a text view and a button now what we need what i need just a typecast here to set a one click on this so i am also copying this redundant part as here so i just copy this and paste this here so hope you are getting what i am doing so now let's start writing the main code. So if someone click on VT show data range picker set on click listener, I am setting on click listener here. So if someone tap on this, then I need to show data range picker. So now the main code starts from here. So first of all, you need to create a variable for picker, val picker, and this variable is going to belong to material date picker. So material date picker dot builder. So this will build date range picker. Now after this, what we need, we need to set the theme. So by default the date range picker is going to cover the whole screen so if you want to show it in the form of dialog then we need to pass a custom theme so for that's why for now just leave the theme part as a blank so i will create a custom theme after creating this function and then we will see how to create add this theme. then after this you can set any title text whichever you want to show on your date range picker so i am just typing here select date range tutorial you can give any name it is your choice and after this it is your choice whether you want to show any default selection or not so if you don't want to show any default selection so you can pass it as a null and null and if you want to show something then you can pass any date in millisecond so for now i am just i don't want to show anything so i am just passing it as a null as null here then after this you can also set any calendar constraint here so let us suppose you want to select the date range only from today date to onwards and you don't want to set the user to select the backward date range so you can also set calendar constraint as well if you want for now i am not setting this and after this at last what you need to do you need to just build it this is done now after this to show this picker you just need to call this picker.show and you need to pass the context of support fragment manager of your current activity from where you are calling so i am calling from main activity so i just part this this dot support my fragment manager and just any tag message so i just give a tag you can give any random message now date range picker contain two buttons so picker dot add on positive button click listener so if someone click on ok button then you can perform any specific thing which you want and if someone click on negative button then you can also perform any specific thing which you want to perform so if someone click on negative button then i just want to dismiss my date range picker so i am just typing here picker dot dismiss and if someone click on positive button then i need to just take the selected date and then I want to show that date on my text view. So for this, I am just typing here TV select date dot set text. And inside this, first of all, I am going to create my function 
which will convert time to date because after selecting date from your date range figure it will give you the time in millisecond so you need to convert this into a date format so first of all it will give you two things first so it will going to give the starting date and then it it dot second it will give you the end date so convert i am just calling this function again your time to date and inside this i just need to pass the second so first is the starting date and end is the second is the ending date now i am copying this function so you can just type as it is the function code so i copy this and paste it here so you can see now it is not showing error and it is working fine. so this is done now the one thing is left i we need to set the custom theme here so for this i open my project and i just copy this theme and inside values inside themes you can paste this theme here i just give the theme name theme material calendar and the parent of the theme is material calendar and just I pass this window full screen false so I don't want to show my date range figure in full screen so I just pass this false and you can also customize lots of things using this theme like range color range fill color and all other thing range fill color button positive color negative color so you can customize it according to your own choice if you want this is done now let's set this theme so I just need to type here r dot style dot theme material calendar so this is it. So now let's run this application and see whether it is working or fine or not. And if it is working fine, then we'll end this video. So I press on run button and it will start building. So let's wait for a Google build. So project build successful. It will going to install the application in our phone. So application installed successfully. So you can see if I tap on this, it is showing me the empty start date and end date. And you can see the title on the top, select date range tutorial. The project which I showed you in demo, so that demo contain the start date and end range by default selected but in this I pass null in null here so that's why it is not showing anything so if I open my previous project so you can see what I pass here to show the dates if I want to show some date on my date range figure so you can see I just passed in my demo video but yet this month in milliseconds and today in milliseconds so that's why it was showing that thing but here I pass null and null so that's why it is not showing anything so if you are getting so now this is done now let's select any date range so I select 7 March and 28 March and you can also select anything let us suppose if I select 5 March and 19 April so if I click on ok so you can see I am getting the correct result so finally guys this video is end I hope you like this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below I will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe to the channel and please share the video if you have any question just comment down below so thank you guys, see you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.